Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hi, welcome. And if you are back, welcome back. Today, I am here with a super fun and special unboxing. This is from Distracted by Diamonds and Patty Wax, which are the same store over on Etsy. Robin and Ben are the owners over there. They just opened up, or maybe they haven't done their grand opening yet, a storefront in Ohio. I want to go visit so bad. <laughs> um, but they sell a variety of diamond painting accessories as well as some absolutely incredible diamond painting kits. So I have a little bit of both to share with you all today because they package them all together for me. And here, let's get into it. I'm so excited. So how are you guys doing today? <laughs> I hope you're having an amazing day so far. This includes a diamond painting from one of their recent set of new releases. And it is from a set of old masters themed diamond painting kits. Now I actually host, I co-host um, an event called Summer with the Masters with my friend Jessica over at Tiny Worlds of Wonder. It is kicking off on June 1st this year. It's our second year of doing it. And Robin over at Distracted by Diamonds, who has long had a huge variety of artwork, including some different old masters kits, brought some of these kits back just for Summer with the Masters, just in time for Summer with the Masters. This particular kit was released, this artwork rather. Okay, so this is important. The artwork for this kit today is the same artwork that she had released in the past, but there are some changes as far as the size goes and the exact rendering goes. So it's not the same exact kit that, that she had released a couple years back, but it is the same artwork. So after I, um, as I was placing this order, I was like, I'm gonna grab some of her patty wax goodies as well because she has some uh, other really fun accessories in her shop and she stocked some new stuff that I wanted to try. She included this thank you note and some ooh, fun Harry Potter stickers. Yes, please. Super, super fun. A sucker, my kiddos will get that one. And then I ordered a brick of patty wax. This is in poly juice potion. Believe it or not, I actually already own this scent, but I wanted a backup brick because it's actually one of my favorites of all things. I wonder if it's the same exact scent. It smells like it to me, but it's not so fun. <laughs> Little eyeballs in it and everything. <laughs> And then I grabbed a couple of minders because I just cannot resist minders. Now, Patty Wax's minders are very large, very large, very flat. So <laughs> I apologize in advance for getting this song stuck in your head <laughs> for that particular minder. And then this minder felt especially appropriate like at the time because our community is going through it lately, it feels like it. But... <laughs> I just thought this was so funny. It's a drama llama. <laughs> now she does put usually like, yeah, two of these super heavy duty magnets on the back. They will, oh my gosh, they're, they will stick to anything and everything. Honestly, they're so high powered. I tend to even just take one off and only use one on each of these, but yay, new miners, yay, new patty wax. <laughs> Let's get into this kit. First though, here's that original artwork I was telling you about. This is Zodiac by Alphonse Mucha. Mucha is one of my favorite old masters artists and has really, really grown on me. This is from the year 1896. And for the, the summer with the masters, uh, we just are having people participate with artwork that's from before the year 1927, which as of this year, any artwork from before that year is considered part of the public domain and free to use. It doesn't have to be licensed. So this is going to have square diamonds and 62 by 70 centimeters. I had shared this particular artwork with a friend and I was like, look at which one I grabbed from the new release. She's like, that artwork doesn't seem like really your typical style to me. And I was like, it's all gone out the window when it comes to these old masters kits. Like my, my style has changed and expanded so much and artwork that maybe normally would not necessarily have previously called to me. Now it is. <laughs> so 
Like I mentioned, Robin had made sure to let me know to also like, I wanted to share with you guys that while she did release a version of Zodiac by Muka a few years back, this is a different kit in terms of dimensions and whatnot. So just in case you were looking and expecting it to be exactly the same, like if you've seen post reviews or whatnot of the older version of this kit, this one is going to be a little bit different. So it's still going to be amazing though. I'm sure of it. Uh, here's a little toolkit that's been included with this cute little set of, it's a little like nesting tray. I love it. We get a pink heart wax and a roll of washi tape. I like to use washi tape to cover up the border of my canvas where any glue might have gone past the edge of the drill field. I also like to use washi tape to section off my canvas to work on. If you're curious about what that process looks like or what that means, I do have a video on it. I will be sure to link to it below. Okay, I love their high quality canvases. Oh my gosh, love it, love it. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. Look at the level of detail in this piece. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She looks incredible. Oh, I love her so much. Okay, we have a pink basic pen that was included inside that plastic bag. So this is the last part of our toolkit there. <laughs> Here is this amazing set of colors. Almost gives me like Halloween vibes with all those oranges and reds, but no, it's this breathtaking artwork. Oh my gosh. I always wonder what this is for. Maybe just extra protective paper, but you guys, let me show you. Here we have that amazing, amazing original artwork. So um, again, Alphonse Muka is the artist. Look up their artwork. It is so good. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So here's some information about Distracted by Diamonds as a company. This right here, you can pause and read if you like. This right here is one of the reasons that Distracted by Diamonds is one of my very favorite diamond painting companies out there. They are trying to do their absolute best to bring us diversity, inclusivity, to do right by artists. They're trying to make sure everything is responsibly sourced and is excellent, excellent quality. Um, you can see here that they've noted, we strive to bring you fresh new art as well as exposing you to the world of old masters classics. So this is gonna be so amazing. I just wanna keep looking at this. <laughs> Over here, this is a set of, are these pre-cut? Yes, they are. So this is a set of pre-cut stickers. It looks like this kit is gonna have a total of 55 colors. The number that we see over here on the right is the same as the D, it's the DMC color code. That's gonna be so good. Looking at the symbols, at least here on this page, We'll take a look, some culprits for symbols that sometimes look similar. We have this diamond and this heart that are both white shapes on a dark background. The same with the spade. And there's a square down here. We'll look at the canvas. Usually their canvas printing is really clear, but I always like to point out when I see symbols that look similar, and I have worked on some Distracted by Diamonds canvases before where those symbols, I've just had to make sure I am paying attention. Now this canvas has poured glue and is a really high quality material. So it's safe for me to roll backwards like this. This is just gonna help it lay flat a little bit more quickly so that I can show, show this beautiful artwork off to you a little bit better. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, this is Zodiac by Alphonse Muka. Let me show you the different kind of elements on the canvas. Up here is their branding, distracted by diamonds. The edges are scalloped and they're finished. So even though we have a little bit of what looks a bit like fraying here, it's nothing is happening when I tug on it. If that were to want to keep like pulling back at all, that finishing that you see and the scalloped edges, that's gonna prevent it from actually doing much fraying at all in the long run. Here at the top right, we have a schematic. There's that original artwork, that thumbnail, the size 62 by 70. And then here is our color list again. I don't think that this kit has any ABs in it, which with Old Masters artwork, I'm really okay with that, to be honest with you. Bottom left over here, we have another schematic. And then 
Zodiac by Alphonse Mucha, 1896. So let's look at the canvas itself and see what we think of the drill field. Right off the bat here, we have some of those symbols that I was like, we're gonna take a closer look at these. So you can see we have some of the spade, or sorry, not the spade, the diamond and the heart. There's the spade up there. To me, those are all very distinct in printing. I don't think that we are going to mix them up. However, okay, there it is. Okay, um, is that right? I wanna make sure I'm looking at the right thing. Yes, okay. So you wanna be careful. Looking right here where my thumb is at. Uh, this symbol on the left is a heart. The symbol on the right is a downward pointing triangle. Those do look very similar to one another. You can see the triangle has a bit more sharp edges and is on more of a teal background. The heart is on more of a dark green background. I want you to know that those two different symbols are there though and that they are different from one another because those would be easy, I think, to mix up if you weren't looking super closely. Here they are again right next to each other. So you'll just want to keep an eye out for those. All this printing over here. Wow, the confetti. Wow, the confetti. Um, this looks to be printed really, really clearly. Now, Robin had mentioned that she was a little bit worried about, um, you know, wanting to have this printed in a size that wasn't going to be absolutely massive, which would have made costs go up. <laughs> um, but she was saying it's, it's difficult to find a balance between the number of colors and giving us the level of detail that the artwork calls for while also not giving us a really muddy effect in the painting. So I am planning to work on this piece for summer with the masters. So you will get to see how this, how this works up and how this all translates once there are diamonds down. I am so intrigued so incredibly intrigued. Uh, the good news is, like I said, the printing, especially over here on these sections where it's like a black symbol on a lighter background, this is all printed crystal clear. I don't see any symbols initially, at least, that I think I'm going to mix up with others. The biggest culprits in this piece by far, I think are gonna be that heart and that downward pointing triangle. So those are the ones you're gonna wanna keep an eye out for. Otherwise though, this is looking amazing <laughs> as far as um, printing goes and all of that. Let's do a really quick measurement and see if we are looking true to size. So we are at 70 centimeters, just a tick shy of 70 centimeters. And then we are a tick shy of 62 centimeters. So I'm gonna call that true to size because it's listed as 70 by 62 centimeters. Um, if you're looking at this and you're like, oh no, are those bubbles or wrinkles in the canvas? That is not, that is just where the plastic cover shifted in transit. This plastic cover is wanting to stick a little bit, but no, that glue is completely flat. That's just where the plastic cover shifted in transit. Um, if that sort of thing is bothering you, you can take the entire plastic cover off and replace it with release paper if you like. If you notice, like I did that, like I said, that plastic cover was wanting to stick a little bit tightly to the canvas. I'm not worried about it. I did recently um, work on a kit from Distracted by Diamonds called Valentine Kitty that it had the same thing where the plastic cover kind of wanted to stick to the canvas really, really hard. It did not affect the glue quality at all. Um, it had to do with, they think, the um, the the way that it was handled in transit with a mail carrier. Like, I think the glue may just be a little more sensitive to temperature changes. So um, it might be a good idea to store a canvas like this one indoors in a temperature or in some kind of temperature controlled environment just to be safe. Let's take a minute. We're going to look at these diamonds together. But just so you know, right off the bat, um, this DBDS 1130, that's going to match up with over here, this model number that's on the canvas. So if you store your diamonds separate from the canvas and outside of the box that they came in, you'll be able to match them up easily later. So 
So these are pre-bagged. If you like to work out of baggies, then this kit is all set and ready to go for you. Um, we have some really beautiful colors. These look like they're sort of roughly in DMC order. I'm not gonna worry about keeping them in DMC order because I just wanna show you guys some of these colors and these diamonds. Uh, so this number here is the DMC color code. The number here is the weight. So these have been bagged by weight. Occasionally I will find with pre-bagged drills like these, occasionally I will find that I run into some static. Whether or not your diamonds have static in the bags tends to be highly climate dependent. It is not the end of the world. It's annoying, but it's not the end of the world if your diamonds have static in them. Um, I recommend just cutting up a piece of dryer sheet like this one has some static in it. You can see the diamonds kind of wanting to stick to the bag there. Um, I'm gonna cut up a piece of dryer sheet, stick it in the bag, shake it around, kind of move it around so that it's you know getting rid of all that static. And then this will just pour right out into a storage container or into a tray if you're just working directly out of baggies. And then we have more of just, gosh, every amazing shade of brown and beige and orange and even pink. <laughs> Since this is so conf highly confetti heavy, it seems like there's kind of just an even distribution of kind of the amounts of diamonds that we have, but I see some big bags there towards the end that we'll look at as well. The quality on these looks good. Square diamonds can be a little bit fickle sometimes. Sometimes you'll run into like trash diamonds or like inconsistent sizing and whatnot. From what I'm seeing as we kind of glance through these, these these diamonds look to be really nice quality. I'm not seeing lots of, you know, trash bits floating in there. The occasional straggler, but that's pretty normal. <laughs> bright, bright, brilliant orange. And then we have these big bags down here. So we have a big bag of 3825. It's kind of a peachy color. Huge bag of 722, 26 ounces of it. <laughs> huge bag the biggest bag is by far is of this 970 that just screams like halloween orange to me but this is not a halloween kit um this is a very summery kit <laughs> and then a big bag of 310. yeah no these the drill quality looks really really good i'm not seeing any extra bits hanging off the diamonds they look to be really shiny and sparkly i love it i love what i'm seeing oh my gosh you guys I'm just gonna set these off to the side that's future katie's problem oh my goodness so this is the absolutely lovely and breathtaking zodiac from alphonse muka now just to let you guys know i did see in their etsy shop in the distracted by diamonds and patty wax etsy shop that there was a mix up with their factory and they mislabeled several of their boxes they were unexpectedly short on this kit in particular they have a rush order in. Hopefully they will have more in very, very soon. I recommend keeping an eye on their Etsy shop. Follow their shop announcements. <laughs> they are posting updates regularly over there. Um, and I, I recommend checking over there as well to see when their restock dates and times are. Um, because they do usually take, I think, Wednesdays and Thursdays off. Or is it Tuesdays and Wednesdays off? <laughs> anyway, they restock twice a day. Um, and if you don't see a particular kit or something in stock when you go and check their shop website it's one of two things uh, one it has sold out check back during the next restock time and maybe it will be restocked at that time because they only stock as many uh, kits and accessories as they feel they can turn around and ship in a timely manner and with high quality um, so check back at the you know future restock time also, they kind of rotate through stock. And so it's possible that like once they run out of, you know, this particular kit, they may not have it for a while. Um, so be sure to check back because they are regularly adding new and amazing things to their shop. I will say that even if they don't have this particular kit in stock for a couple more weeks or for a little while, they have some other really, really beautiful old master's kits that they have been stocking. Um, there's Meeting on the Turret Stairs and there's Half Sick of Shadows and they're both gorgeous. I'm still considering getting one or both of them myself, uh, but both would be perfect for summer with the masters as well 
Robin, Ben, thank you so much for your commitment to bringing new and amazing things to the diamond painting community. Thank you for spoiling us by bringing back and, and bringing new old masters pieces just in time for summer with the masters. This is one that I was so disappointed that I had missed out on a couple years back when you had it. And I about screeched when I saw that you were bringing it back. And I really appreciate that you've put in a rush order to hopefully get in some more in time for more people to get to work on this kit for summer with the masters. You guys go and check out what distracted by diamonds and patty wax is doing. It's the same shop on Etsy. I think the name might be just patty wax. Uh, but even if you're not looking for an old masters kit, please take a look at the other incredible kits that they have to offer. The quality is incredible. Um, I've done some, I've completed several and done some post reviews on a few kits from them as well. I'll try to remember to link to that in the description if you'd like to go take a look and see exactly like what kind of incredible quality um, and amazing finished effect you can come to expect from Distracted by Diamonds. Seriously, one of my favorite diamond painting companies out there and I love getting to recommend uh, recommend them and shop their name from the rooftops. <laughs> anyway, my friends, let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. I would be more than happy to help. Um, if you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful for you, would you mind giving it a thumbs up before you head out? I would super appreciate it. And if you're not already subscribed and want to see lots more diamond painting content from me, feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you. All right, friends, have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.